uh, Vikram sir started saying, you know, that uh, there is a lot of things, you know, changing around us. So obviously the paperless audit is also there. And for that, we have created certain functions in Tally, which you can use. OK, so let us have a look at them. So if you can just confirm uh, if my uh, tally screen is visible. Yes, we can see your screen. OK, fine. Uh, so. Uh, I have I am taking a. Uh, taking a little old data here, OK? Uh, because I wanted to show certain uh, specific options. Which I have created in this particular data. So um, we will start off with the uh, verifying the charter accounts and data analysis. Okay. What I've done, I am loading one company normally the way you do. Okay. And then you go into display more reports and you can go into analysis and verification. Okay. Instead of this, instead of this, okay, navigation and everything, you don't have to remember anything just remember this go to button click on go to and type verification of chart of account okay. let me show you again it's simple you don't have to remember anything just remember go to and type verification of chart of account so press enter now you see there are certain options which have a right account squared of during the year not used only balances no transactions so Account squared out during the year. Okay, I see a loan account. Okay, so loan account, you know, should raise my eyebrows. That loan account squared out during the year, whether the interest have been charged or not, payment has done through cash or you know through uh, whether is is it a proper bank NFT. So all those questions will come automatically if you see any such reports. You know, automatically you will start you know creating questions in your mind the moment you get to see this report in your system okay. and you can just randomly take any data of your client and put this and you will see at least few ledgers you know which got squared off during the year okay now a very important function here is the comparing the company okay so i am loading again So what I have done is here. So I have taken an example of a client who runs uh, a different company every year. Okay, uh, company in the sense a different company data. Uh, sorry to say that company, a different company data for every year. So there is a different different folder. So for example, 11, 12, there is a different folder. For 12, 13, there is a different folder. Okay. So if you have any such client, okay this particular tool will help you a lot because in that what happens many a time i have seen personally uh, whenever as a chartered accountant we finalize the balance sheet and we give them the data back to change to do certain changes so at times they forget okay and uh, that has come to the uh, that come comes to the notice only when they again uh, sense the data Okay, for re verification or for the re audit in the next year or the subsequent year. Okay, so here what you can do is you can uh, simply run, see, as soon as you open this compare company, you got more options like regrouped, etc. Used only in current year, only balances, no transactions. For the last two years, there is only balances, there are no transactions. So you can take certain, uh, you know, uh, you can take certain stock of these information. And then you can discuss with client that what needs to be done. Okay, so you can give them uh, uh, more enhanced or the better advisory information. So one very important function which I wanted to show here is the analytical Verification of balances, a very important feature, okay, in the data analysis. Please do use this. Okay, here, what I'm doing is I'm using the compare company, okay. Uh, just a moment, I have to.
So I am loading my uh, current year, which is the assessment year. So year in my case is the L13, and I am going inside verification of balances. Compare company, and I am loading my last year. So there's a little refreshing issue here. You can just come back and then again, you can just go to verification of balances. Just a moment. Yeah. So actually, I was selecting the wrong company, you know, uh, 12 13 versus 11 12. So if you see here, uh, shows in red, if there is any challenge, it will show you immediately in the red. You can click. Simply uh, F10 and you can look for the exceptions only. So here, if you see, you will be able to see the exceptional uh, exceptions which is happening because of which ledger it will show you directly here. There are so many ledgers which they have, you know, forgotten or did not change. So that all will come to your notice. There can be uh, typing error also and this comes to uh, notice uh, if they're using two different folders for uh, 2021 2022 22 23 there is a different different folder okay otherwise closing will become opening automatically you will not be able to uh, check the verification of balances much here okay then you can just see the opposite behavior or the or the uh, debit balances debit ledgers having credit balances and so on okay so very important here and uh, then uh, in the same uh, in the verification the analytical procedure i'm just showing you one report and uh, sales versus direct expenses okay 12 13 versus 11 12 and mind you uh, you can do this for within the year also, okay? You can just compare the one quarter to another quarter, uh, one half year to another half year and so on. Okay, you need not wait uh, to do these things, uh, you know, to do it at the end of the year. You can just do it within the year as well. So here, if you see, there is an increase of 14% uh, from my last year to current year sale, but where is my expenses, you know, has increased to 49%. Okay. My direct, my indirect expenses has increased almost 49%. You can filter out which are the, uh, you know, things which are contributing. So advertisement has increased. Okay. So advertisement uh, has increased to almost like 600%, but it is not yielding any results. So you can give such, you know, uh, information to the management. Or it might be done at the end of the year, which will give the, uh, you know, results in the uh, coming year. There might be some marketing activity which has been done at the year, end of the year. So you will get to know all these information. So if you get, uh, you know, uh, these kind of analyticals while working, okay? And it is just on a click of a button. You don't have to do much things. Just click on uh, go to and then type analytical procedure and you are there at that report. Okay, so there is a data analysis. So you can just directly go inside the data analysis and you can see all of these functions. So just type data analysis and you will be having all these options there. Okay, one again, very important thing is the, uh, there are so many things, you know, which uh, they would love to explain, but you know, due to the shortage of time, I will show you some of the key functions here. So another is the relative size factor. So in relative size factor, what happens? It gives you the relative size factor of uh, the 
highest transaction value divided by the second highest transaction value okay so for example uh, electricity charges okay so electricity charges is a periodic payment so it will vary from 5000 6000 or whatever the amount that you are paying so it would vary in the same range if you are uh, if your electricity bill for one month is 5000 for another month it will not be 60000 okay because it will not be that much varied so what happens is it does the uh, it gives us the integer or the factor from the top transaction value divided by the second top transaction value and trust me just go on this report and check all the ledgers which has got value more than 2.5 and i'm sure you would find some Thing which needs to be audited and something which needs to be corrected or brought to the audit you know the customers notice i'm sure you will find n number of uh, you know uh, things from only one this particular report so i'll just show you what happened here in the electricity charges so here if you see there is a second highest value is 5600 they are paying around 4700 800 900 okay but all of a sudden there is a 75000 rupees ka entry in the uh, electricity so when i went into the transaction i saw that there is a purchase of generator which is wrongly debited to the electricity so we can immediately bring this to the notice of the accountant or the management please correct these transactions and put it into the uh, proper uh, fixed asset ledger okay so you can put a remark immediately and it will be part of your paperless audit it is a capital expenditure removed from revenue expenses and uh, then you can just take an export of this and send it to the client that these uh, transactions need to be corrected okay so we can see here as well There was a transaction for one particular customer happening at 30,000, 20, 30,000. All of a sudden, there's a transaction of 1,60,000. So that needs to be, you know, brought in to the uh, notice. Okay. There might be a related party transaction or something which is happening here. Okay. Which you should be aware of. All right. So relative size factor is a very important thing and you can always check the transactions on holiday stale check spending advances on one screen okay pending advances on one screen pending transactions on one screen pending documents or the pending transactions so pending orders any purchase bill spending any sales bill spending okay any outstanding which is pending so all the things at one place at one uh, dashboard now a uh, very important thing here is the voucher verification dashboard okay so here uh, i'll not take much time i'll just explain it in just two minutes so here what happens all the transactions get accumulated all the transactions if you have 10000 5000 all the number of transactions would be available here okay and you can mark two very important transactions from here one is the sampling method okay and another is the related party okay so sampling method is how do you want to sample any particular uh, transaction okay do you want to sample it uh, on the voucher wise or you want to sample it on the ledger wise so everything is available here you want to sample all the vouchers of journal you want to sample the odd or even number of vouchers for the sales you want to sample it with the highest negative variance we're using the benford analysis you want any amount range so you, if you just press enter on this particular screen you will get all the sampling methods all vouchers amount range benford analysis even numbers odd numbers specific to the period or any specific voucher okay so you can do all of this for the sampling okay and once you have a sampling defined you will get the transactions sampled here okay and you can just press enter and you can see that on what basis they have been sampled if you press alt f1 you will be able to see the uh, voucher types as well okay so there are five transactions which is our 
which are on the amount range. Okay. Benford analysis, there are around 22 transactions with the uh, highest negative variation. Okay. All vouchers from journal and sales. Okay. Even number vouchers from purchase. Odd number vouchers from another vouch type. And then some manually sampled vouchers. Okay. So all of it's available here. And then on that, you can just press enter, go inside the transaction. So this is my transaction. Press enter and you can put a voucher verification remark. Just like, you know, doing the paperless audit. So you can just put a remark that this transaction looks okay. Verified with the, uh, with the uh, documents and uh, we can put a verification note. And at the end of uh, the uh, audit, you can just take a print of all the transactions that you have audited. Because whatever you have audited, verified, would be available in the verified. And you can take a screenshot or you can take a Excel sheet and export it into Excel. And you can just keep it with yourself. All right. So uh, this is what I wanted to show uh, from my side. And uh, then there are some exception reports which you can uh, get access to. So, just a minute, I'll just show you one exception report which is very important. Say, uh, for example, I am going inside the startup account ledgers. Okay. And then I click on the exception reports and I see that uh, which are the ledgers wherein the emails are pending okay uh, which are the ledgers wherein uh, exception reports and which are the ledgers wherein you know the gst is pending all items okay so these many ledgers which should be uh, marked for the gst and uh, there is gst details are not mentioned Okay, so this is an exception report. There are so many exception reports also. When you go on to exception reports tab itself in the display exception reports, you can find out uh, ledgers without email IDs and reversing channel, negative ledgers, negative stock, okay, and so on. And exception reports changes on every screen. Okay, so there are certain screen specific uh, exception reports as well. You can always refer to them as well. So I hope uh, you were able to correlate whatever I explained in the last uh, five, 10 minutes about how to use the data verification in tally when it comes to auditing and you would be able to put it into your practice. Just take any data and uh, do a quick, uh, you know, uh, analysis immediately. If you can do it at your, uh, you know, wherever you are sitting after the session, if you can just put that one particular uh, click on one button, go to, and then just check the relative size factor. It will give you a lot of information. 